Hello, calculus students. In this problem, um, we're going to determine the um, projection of u onto the vector v. So you can imagine if you were shining a light in this direction, u would cast a shadow onto v. And that's the projection of u along v. And it has a name. It's called u parallel. Um, it's going to uh, involve the uh, unit vector in the v direction. And here I'm just reminding you that the unit vector in the v direction is uh, v divided by its magnitude. And uh, what we want to um, do by the end of this video is determine the formula for u parallel. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to write the uh, cosine of the angle between the vector u and the vector v. Now you'll recall that um, the scalar product or the dot product of u dot v divided by the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v. Now I'm going to take this uh, u magnitude and I'm going to move it over to the um, left hand side and um, I'm going to take this um, v vector and I'm going to divide it by its magnitude and um, of course um, I'll get that expression and then um, just uh, one more step you'll see that the v divided by its magnitude is um, the unit vector um, in the v direction and uh, what I've just done here if you just do some right triangle trig since this is a right angle the length of this side is um, the um, hypotenuse which is the length of u or the magnitude of u times the cosine of theta so um, I have now two ways to express the length of the side of that triangle. It's u times uh, the magnitude of u times the cosine of theta, which is equal to the dot product u dotted with the unit vector in the v direction. Okay, so now that I have those equivalent expressions, um, I'm going to derive this um, formula for u parallel. Now, notice something about u parallel. U parallel is um, equal to its magnitude, um, but u parallel stretches um, along the v direction as well. So um, you can construct u parallel by saying, well, it's the length of u parallel times the uh, unit vector in the v direction. And um, um, okay, and now we have uh, once again two expressions for the magnitude of u parallel. Um, remember the length of this side of the um, right triangle is u dot ev and uh, so now that I have that um, I'm, um, this expression I'm going to combine this idea to uh, finish up the formula for u parallel um, I'm going to um, substitute um, this dot product for this magnitude here and um, this is one expression for u parallel it's a uh, u dot ev and then um, remember that this is the scalar product and that will give us the magnitude of u parallel and then um, of course we have to multiply that by ev to make it a vector because this is indeed a vector and um, I have another way to express that um, remember that ev is v over its magnitude and ev here is v over its magnitude um, so essentially what I have here is if I take this um, uh, number here, this magnitude, remember that the norm of v times the norm of v is just simply v dot v, and I have u dot v over here, and I just left this v over here. So I have yet another expression for um, u parallel, and those are equivalent expressions, so I'll just rewrite them at the top, and um, now we have a formula for u parallel which is the projection of u along the v vector here. So it's the shadow of u along v. All right, good luck.